Here are a couple of examples using scientific notation in calculations. One way economists measure economic well-being is by calculating the nation's gross domestic product, called GDP, the total value of all final goods and services produced in an economy. In 2008, the GDP of the United States was $14.3 trillion. Express the GDP in scientific notation. So we were told it was $14.3 trillion. Well, that's going to be 14.3 multiplied times 1 trillion. Now, how do you end up indicating that? Well, let's just start off with, this would be thousands. If we add three more zeros, we're into millions. Three more zeros is into billions, and three more zeros is into trillions. Let's now represent this large number as a power of 10. Well, first of all, we can take the 14.3 and we can rewrite it, going to scientific notation, as 1.43 times 10 to the first power. We're now going to multiply that times 10 to the 12th power. We can easily do this by counting the number of zeros, 12 zeros. So now we've got 10 to the first power multiplied times 10 to the 12th, and we can simplify that into 10 to the 13th. So what we have is 1.43 times 10 to the 13th, and that's the same as 14.3 trillion. If the GDP was evenly distributed among all Americans, which is 3.06 times 10 to the 8th people, how much would each citizen receive? We'll take the total, which is 1.43 times 10 to the 13th. We'll divide that by 3.06 times 10 to the 8th. We can separate this into two fractions, 1.43 divided by 3.06 multiplied times 10 to the 13th divided by 10 to the 8th. Using a calculator, we come up with a value which is approximately, for the first fraction, 0 0.46732. We're going to multiply that times 10 to the 13 minus 8th power. So that's going to be 0 0.46732 multiplied times 10 to the fifth. That requires me to move the decimal place five spaces to the right, so we end up with 46732, which if I put it back in the context of the problem, that would be in money, $46,732.